Hey Total Beauties, it's Mary here, and last night was the Golden Globes, as you probably are aware. Um, so we have got Eric and Nicole from Glam Squad LA here. Hi guys. Um, they, Eric is the lead hairstylist, Nicole is the lead makeup artist, and so we thought it would be really fun to recreate one of our favorite looks from last night, which was Emma Stone, who won the Golden Globe for Best Actress. Um, are you guys excited? Yes, very yes. excited. All right, so as thank you can, for having us. Yeah, yeah, we're thank you. glad yeah. to have you. Um, so as you can see, we've done a little bit of pre-prep, uh, and then they're going to walk us through what they're going to do to transform me into Emma Stone. And along the way, if you have questions, please ask them. Yeah, ask away, definitely. That's what we're here for. Right, um, cool. well, perfect. So as you can see, I've already started to prep her hair. Uh, if you want to come around back really quick. Um, you know, this look wasn't exactly all about the curls, but I definitely wanted to make sure that there is some volume in it, so that's why the set. Um, and to add a little bit of texture to play with as we're pinning the hair up into this style. Um, but I left some sections out so that I can go ahead and start to uh, do a little bit of prep along the way. So it's not like, how'd you do that? And I'm like, well... <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> and as far as makeup for prep, I just prepped her with some um, Bioderma to take off her makeup she had on before. Yes. And then we went in with a primer. She had a little bit of redness in her skin, so I did Smashbox, and the green cancels the red. Think of Christmas. Um, <laughs> Love that. And then for foundation, I went in with Makeup Forever HD, went in with my Beauty Blender and just kind of stippled it on, pushed it into the skin. She has a little bit more oilier skin, so I really want to get it into um, her pores and make it look like skin. Excellent. Skin should look like skin. So now we're going to start on the eyes as Eric goes in with curls. And I yep. totally feel like a movie star, but like <laughs> both this happening at once. So with the sides of the head, I like to um, do everything away from the face. Uh, it's a softer look, um, and I definitely want to uh, keep the youth. And so I think away from the face is always a good way to keep that. Um, because I'm not wanting so much volume on the sides, I'm actually not going to pin the sides up. Otherwise, I would definitely flat wrap this around my fingers like so, and then pin it up like that. But I'm gonna leave them hanging. Um, and go back to product that I used. Uh, I used my favorite product from Kerastase. It's called Densimorphous. It's actually a mousse, but what's so cool about the mousse is it's actually just a treatment mousse. So it's gonna plump the hair, it's going to hydrate the hair, it's gonna protect it, um, but it's not gonna have any hold. It's not gonna give it that crunchy feel. It's just gonna be really nice and soft and it's strictly just a treatment mousse. If you want some more hold, if your hair um, has trouble holding some curl, I would definitely go for uh, their other mousse. So this is the Dimsomorphous that I use. You wanna take a look. So that's the treatment mousse. Um, and then this is the mousse bouffant. So if you have trouble really, with this look I'm not worried about necessarily the curl holding, so that's why I wanted to do more treatment. Um, but Kerastase is all about treatment. I mean, every single one of their products is treatment-based um, and heat protectant. Uh, so that's the luxury um, behind the brand is it's really good for the hair. Um, but a little fun fact, uh, I looked up uh, the hairstylist who did Emma Stone, and she used all-over-the-counter products for mm. the hairstyle, which is really cool. Yeah, that's great. Just mm. went to your drugstore. I think it was all L'Oreal, too. Yeah. So, Carousel is... It's a sister uh, brand. Sister right? brand, yeah. Excellent. I should add, mm. he added the mousse to my hair dry, which I thought was a cool technique, and dried it with uh, one of our obsessions right now, the Dyson dryer. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> oh, obsessed. Um, I love dryer um, and also Glam Squad uh, the company that both Nicole and I work for um, it's an on-demand beauty company in case you are not familiar with it but we do have an app so it's an app based um, company and you go on and you can book hairstylists makeup artists nail technicians at the touch of a button which is really awesome it's affordable 
Um, and so it's available uh, in New York, LA, and Miami. And Miami, yeah. Yeah. So if you live there and you have got a big event, you can just get guys like these <laughs> in your home, right in your home, or office you like or a celebrity. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. But uh, Dyson is actually partnered with us, so you will find every single one of our stylists that comes to your home, office, wherever has a Dyson dryer. So if you want to so. try the Dyson dryer and don't have $400, <laughs> well, <laughs> you can get 50 bucks for a blowout. <laughs> yeah, it's a great deal. And you actually get to, yeah. I'm sure the hair stylist will let you, you know. <laughs> play around. Play around, push some buttons. <laughs> and for her eyes, I'm just going in very um, close to her lash line, starting putting your brush up like this and um, kind of pushing it into lash line, going in upward strokes so that everything can kind of fade up and it's very soft without a heavy liner. You can go in with an actual shadow and it just a little stippling and then a little bit of blending and you've got a nice little soft smoky eye. Her look is very blushy, very mm -hmm. soft, very glowy. Um, so I'm gonna go just give enough definition so that she can like look great on camera um, and then I'll follow up with her skin. Awesome, we have a question. How do you prevent curls from falling out over time? <laughs> ah, the infamous <laughs> question. <laughs> um, my suggestion would be, I was actually just gonna speak on that because in the back here, notice how I set everything. Um, I've let it cooled. And so I would definitely recommend setting the hair and letting it cool before you touch it. Because um, a lot of people, what they do, they'll curl and then they'll put their fingers through of it and then all of a sudden, they're, it's still hot, so think of it, you know, it's setting. So, you know, when you take cookies out of an oven and they're still mm -hmm. soft and you try to like pick them up, they crumble from underneath the spatula, right? Um, but if you let them cool, they'll get hard, they'll maintain its shape, think of that. So, I don't know. That's a good analogy, I like, I like, I like that. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> don't let your cookies fall apart, don't let your hair fall apart. Um, and then Melissa's asking, what's a good product to use for hair that won't, that will hold a curl? That will hold a curl? Yeah. Um, so there is a fantastic product. Um, there's two products uh, from Kerasauce. I love Kerasauce. Um, so one of which is called Form Fatale. It's actually a hold blow dry gel. Um, and it's kind of scary when people say gel, but mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. It's it like dissipates in the hair when you put heat on it and you blow dry it, so it actually becomes soft. So when you're putting it through, don't be scared, uh, but it has a memory to it and actually memorizes what you do to it. Mm. So it's good even straightening the hair. Um, and then the other one is, I don't know if I ever say this right, but it's Le Incroyable, uh, <laughs> Le Incroyable, or, uh, Le Incroyable, Le Incroyable, Le Incroyable, I think. Yeah, what she said. Going um, back to my, French. Your friend. Um, but that does a very similar thing as far as hold and memory, but it also has a frizz control to it. So it's 72 hour frizz control, um, which especially if you're in those humid states, uh, Miami, <clears throat> uh. Um, uh, or if you're going on a cruise or something like that, yeah. definitely. Um, or in this weather that we're having right now in LA where it's rainy and uh, it's a really great product. So I'm taking everything down in the back right now. And as far as her cheeks, I'm going in with a, a special glow from Hourglass, one of my favorite palettes. Oh, love um, It's just, it's gorgeous. It has three different tones to it, one for a highlight, one for a dim light, and one for, um, what is the other Is this one? their ambient lighting? The incident, um, the ambient lighting, yes. Yes, one of my favorites. Yeah. You can even use all three together. You can use one for the highlight, or you can even go in. And I actually shade. also love this brush. It's Japanese, right? Oh, one of my favorites. That's one of mine, too. We're very in sync, <laughs> I think. Mean. I love this. And the eye makeup you were using, I was like, oh, I have that palette, and I love it, too. Yeah, which palette were you using? I was using Bare Minerals. This is a Their colors are amazing. Palette. It's got, like, everything you need. Do you know what the name of the palette is? Let's take a look. Um, it's called, like, Sex Ready. Ready. Oh, the Sexy Neutrals. That's right. Sexy Neutrals. Hmm. And they are sexy girls. <laughs> Going in under the cheekbone, along her hairline, just to give a little bit more sort of like ambient lighting. Yes. Make me glow. Yes. 
Everybody wants that glow. Absolutely. I even want that glow. <laughs> <laughs> Like that's the it look. I feel like highlighters also having a major moment this, oh, yes. this past year, and for good reason. Like it just makes you look so young and <laughs> effervescent, even if you aren't. So. so, with Emma Stone's look, I am definitely it's a much softer look. That's I saw that a lot on the red carpet was right. a lot more updos, which was really exciting because. I felt like over the past couple of years, everyone was getting a little relaxed. Right, a lot they of like, like the bedhead chic. Uh-huh, a little, like, mm -hmm. you took effort, but not quite enough. Like, I was like, ah, oh, and as a stylist, I'm like, I want to see more. Updos. And finally, this year is like, yes. updos, um, and lots of polished looks, too. Uh, so I noticed a lot of center parts. Yep, sleek, um, sleek, sleek strands. low ponies, um, pulled back behind the ears. Um, but I loved Emma's because it was just... It was beautiful, but it was really soft at the same yeah. time. So that's what we're going to achieve here. Um, so I don't want to overdo anything with hairspray, with product, because I want to maintain that softness. Perfect. So I'm just going to use this texture that I created. You can also use your natural texture if you want, um, which is really great. And uh, yeah. So I like to start in the back. And she did a really low... Twist. 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 So we have more yeah, light. Yeah, it gets, it gets a little bit a little dark yeah. when we're back there. So you can just So you're brushing it. through the curls? It won't ruin them? No, because oh. I've actually made so I've let it cooled. So because I've let it cooled, I can brush away and it's still gonna maintain it. So that's what I meant about letting the cookies <laughs> settle. <laughs> what I said before. Um, so now uh, you can just let it you can do anything you want, and the curl's actually going to maintain until you put more heat in it. Um, but the main reason why I did it was because I, I wanted some volume in it, and I want to maintain that volume. We have a Glam so, Squad question. Yeah. Um, can I request any hairstyle when booking Glam Squad? Very good question. Uh, so currently on our app, the request button is not available, but if you love somebody, you can always write in, call our client experience team. We have a full staff of client experience members, which are all amazing, amazing people. Bless them, um, and uh, you can just call them, and if the stylist is available, they'll put you on. Hairstyle? Can they request any hairstyle they artists? want? Yes, yes, definitely. So on our app, we actually have a lookbook. Um, so you can look through, um, you know, we tell each of our beauty professionals that we really want to tailor it to the client. Um, that is our goal. We really we don't want you to point at a picture and be like, I want this. Um, it's okay if you do that, and they can, because all of our beauty professionals are vetted and we bring them in for assessment. We go through a rigorous assessment process with each and every one of them, so you know that when somebody's at your door, they're, you know, they're educated, they know what they're doing. They're professionals, each of them have an average of five years out there in the industry, if not more, and so, uh, they can give you any look that you want. So even if we don't have that look on our app, even if you want to go in and just pull up a picture, um, like last night's award show, um, they will be able to uh, accomplish that. Perfect. And is it like a flat fee for anything, or is it like up dues versus down dues is different? So it's fifty dollars for a blowout, seventy-five for a braid, which includes oh, a blowout, gotcha. and then eighty-five for an up do. Right. And then for makeup, it's. $75 for one hour service and then $20 extra for lashes. We also are partnered with Temp2 um, oh. Air Pro and we offer that service as well. That's another $20. Nice. That airbrush look. So she had kind of like a low twisted wrap. So I'm just going to take everything, kind of keep it low on the base of her neck, putting bobby pins here and there. Um, a trick with bobby pins, I always say, is everyone always goes in and they put their fingers and they space it out. Mm -hmm. And what happens is it instantly loses all of its tension. Um, even just a little bit, even though it's going to bounce right back to it, it's still losing its tension. So I try to never do that. Um, so and then I always like to just put it straight in, grab some hair, flip it, and then go the opposite way and that really sticks. 
Does that feel secure? Yep. Yay! <laughs> Good answer. In your brain. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> so it's a little twist. So I'm starting in the back because I want to create a structure um, in the back. I believe structure, it's like building a house, you know, you want to make, you want to have that foundation. So really making sure that you have something to stick it to. So there's that little base. And then what's cool over here is she had like a little twisted knot. So actually since she's got a little more hair, she's got some fine hair, but lots of density. continuing to secure the twists in the back? Yeah, I'm kind of letting the hair speak for itself because mm -hmm. now that I've put these curls in, I'm just kind of twisting the hair, seeing where it's lying, and then following that, and then pinning it. And nothing is necessarily, I think with updos, people overthink things a lot. So they're like, oh, no, that's wrong. Oh, oh, no. So I just kind of like to place it before I pin it. <laughs> Don't second guess. <laughs> yeah. Just go for it. And you can, and she's got that like knot effect. So bringing it back up and over, I'm kind of liking that. So I think that goes with Emma Stone's look. And then with the whole flipping, I still don't part it, so you know I'm still able to just put it in there without really spacing it out. I can twist this up and then put it in. So if you have that in and pushing in, you're never going to see a bobby pin. It's a little oh. pet peeve of mine is seeing those bobbies. Yeah, I can steal those. Does Glam Squad offer hair and makeup or other services? Or just hair and makeup, or do they offer other services as well? We offer nails. Oh. Yes, nails mm. in um, New York and LA. Um, we also do nail art. And oh, it's like, look. Oh, fabulous. I love that design. So pretty. Half moon. It's perfect. It's They're perfect a little dirty from Manny. makeup, but that's okay. <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> My nails are woefully undone. So we're doing lashes over here on the oh, yeah. face end. Ooh. So lashes are my favorite little accent. I love individuals. They're so, uh, let's scoot it this way. Yeah. They are very, very natural, but still gives a little bit of umph and glam. Um, I start from the end and I just kind of place it right on top of the lash line. The trick is to get the glue underneath the, the um, actual individual. So underneath and then you place it on top. So of the lashes. Do you have like, oh, you've got your I do. I right kind here. of put my glue onto the actual, um, I guess, plastic for the yeah. lashes, and then I just pick them off. A lot of people use tweezers. I like to use my fingers. Mm -hmm. I'm very hands on ever since the beginning of my makeup career. So just kind of go in and do That's it. That's so cool. That's a great tip because yeah. I tried to do it on my, the glue on my hand, and that is, and then, I've got everything stuck to my hand by the end of it. And then you get it on Nothing your clothes. Yes. You're just like, where did so, all this come from? Find them later in the night, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, oh. But it's just easier. I connect the two, and then I can go back and forth. I have um, double knotted, I have single, oh. um, and they're just my favorites. And these are so forgiving, too. I'm very bad with strip lashes, but I can. I can't make them probably look this good, but like they're very forgiving. I feel like you can kind of place them where you need them. Place them where you need them, and yeah. And if you mess up, you can just take one off, just like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Being a rebel, <laughs> my rogue lashes. <laughs> um, does the nail art come in gel? Sorry to go back to nails. Yes, yes, it does. Awesome. Yeah. We do um, shellac, which is a version. I love shellac. C and D. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love That's it too because it's. Get them done too. I think it's. I prefer gel and shellac over um, yeah, regular too. polish. I think it lasts longer. And yeah. You're gonna paper especially working Manny. with your hands. Yeah. So um, I wanted to say this part because she has that mm -hmm. cool little knot in the back. So it's literally a knot. So I mm -hmm. go up with my two fingers. Go to this side. Bring it up. 
and around and then you just pull it through and it creates like this cool knot and you can bring it up if you want and then once you secure it you can actually pull it if you want so you can place it where you really see fit And then if you've got little ends, a lot of people are leaving the ends out, which is definitely okay. But a little trick for hiding the ends, in case you don't want that, is I always take that, put it in, and then take the remaining and wrap it, and then put the bobby pin in. And that goes with, uh, say if you have a ponytail and you wanna hide that ponytail, rubber band and you do that wrap and you know people always wrap it around and then mm -hmm. stick it back in and there's an end always coming out that's a good trick for that too oh that's a good one um Brittany is asking what are your favorite products to set curls set the um, curls so setting curls so if I don't have the two mousses that I've talked about which is the mousse bouffant which has definitely a hold to it um I also like to use uh, the cream, which is the uh, the Le Incroyable, uh, and then the gel, which is the Form Fatale. Um, those are both from Kerastase, but definitely something with a memory, something with a hold. Um, I've even seen some people use hairspray prior, so you know they'll take a section out, they'll spray it up and underneath, and then they'll set it. You can use that too, but I would make sure that the hairspray is lighter. Um, Carousel has two different forms of uh, a lighter hairspray. They have a dentile, which is their lightest, and then couture, which is like a medium hold. So as long as it's a lighter hold, you can do that. You can get away with that. Because uh, if you use something that's a little more stronger, it's definitely going to come out crunchy and the curls aren't going to be soft and it's not going to look natural. So make sure it's a softer. Would you say it's probably more important or just as important to do that prep work before rather because I feel like a lot of people think, oh, I'll just spray something after, but it sounds like you kind of have to prepare your, your hair. Definitely your hair, so. prep, yeah. So for, like you said, you know, we, we prepped your hair dry. Mm -hmm. um, with Glam Squad, we do everything wet. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, you just jump out of the shower 10, 15 minutes prior to our arrival. And really, uh, we do, we take it from there. Um, and you know, they bring everything with them as far as product goes. But uh, to really make sure that that style is going to last, I would definitely recommend going from wet to dry. Um, How you doing, Nicole? I'm, I'm doing good. Side. Now I'm just kind of in the skin zone. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going in and um, going over with and the foundation that I started with beginning to kind of go over any blemishes, anything that's kind of moving around a little bit and really pushing it in to make it skin. And that's one thing you want to do with the Beauty Blender, right? So you want to push yes. a tap instead of rub. Your Beauty Blender, you want to start with it wet. Um, always wring out the excess. And I love to also use Mario Badesco put it right into there, spray it in there. You really get a beautiful smell for the client and it also helps set and um, just kind of make the foundation skin. That's, I'm huge on skin. I just want it to look like skin but still have like that flawless airbrush look. I want that too. <laughs> So on this side, I'm doing pretty much the same thing. I'll flip you around as I did on the other side. So now I've created this base over here. So I have something to latch it onto. And once again, it was a very soft, you know, feel around the face. It was almost like a throwback to kind of like a, a different time era. It was really, Really pretty, but same, but for modern. It's, really it's kind of cool. like the movie La La Land. It's like, there you mm -hmm. go. Yeah. <laughs> modern. Do you have any tips for making like the hair sweeping as it's coming around? Yeah, setting it. 
Um, <laughs> setting back to setting. <laughs> back to setting. Number one rule. It, it's all about what you do to prep the hair is from your final result. If you don't prep the hair and you just think it's going to lie naturally, um, it's not going to happen. So definitely, like I curled away from the face and then I was able to brush it out and then it got... It gave us that nice sweeping, kind of like a low bob, it felt like, in the beginning of the, uh, in the front of the face. So you're not going to be able to just sweep the hair back if you don't set it, if you don't curl it, if you don't put a wave in it. Um, that's why when you get your hair done, you know, all of it is most of the time that you take, like if you're in a wedding or if you're doing something, you know, 45 minutes of it is just prepping the hair. And then that last 15 minutes is like, boom, okay. <laughs> Whoa, where'd that come from? So we're adding some blush over some here blush. in the face. One of my Rosalind. favorite newer palettes is um, from Becca. Um, it is Blushed with Light. I believe it's sold out, but you just Sounds kind of right. ask for it. Um, it has just the right highlight and it has, um, your golden, you have your pink tone, and I'm just gonna go in and kind of mix all of them to get the right tone for her. I'm even gonna put a little bit onto her eyeshadow to kind of bring it together. Ooh, I love that. Any tips for blush application? I feel like, you know, so many of us are guilty of clown cheeks or the 80s look and you want something. Blend, that's... blend, blend. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that is the secret to everything. It's just make sure you blend, go in, it's all about layering. If you um, start off with just a little bit and you can add more, it's harder to take away. Um, just keep adding and then if it's too much, you know, kind of go in with your blender brush and or your um, beauty blender and kind of take it away. Your beauty blender is going to be your best friend. It's going to be your eraser, it's going to be your applicator, um, and it's also going to be your blender. All right. If you don't already have a beauty, beauty blender, blender, it's fine. Have you used the new silicone oh, one yet? No! I've, I I've seen a couple videos. makeup artists out there yeah. using videos mm -hmm. use it. I don't know, I'm very, I like the idea I of it because it. of the, um, you know, it's, it doesn't get dirty. Mm -hmm. Yes, the oh, that appeals yeah, to me. The lot. hygiene of it. Yep. I don't know, yeah, I'll but, have to try it out and let you but know. But at the same time, it doesn't seem like the material would really I don't know, absorb. It feels like these, yeah, anything. it feels... I think it would yeah. just, it, it picks it up and then it places it. I think that's the whole yeah. concept of it. Mm. I don't know, I'm gonna do well, we will see. I love it. Um, so, you notice that she has a lot of little flyaways here and there, and oh, nice. your first thing would just be to like spray hairspray and then put a brush through it. Um, what I like to do is always apply hairspray not directly on the person and it remains the softness, uh, keeps the softness. So if you actually spray it onto your brush prior, so you can actually go in and use the side of it because I wouldn't use the teeth and you're actually able to really give, to really tame. Yeah? Yeah, is it tamed? I've heard a toothbrush <laughs> yeah. also works. What's that? I said I've heard a toothbrush also works. Yeah, yeah. Favorite. Yes. yes. Yeah, I have tons of flyaways. Definitely. That broken hair. I mean, not definitely flyaways. Yeah. I mean, like, no, definitely no, the toothbrush. Yeah. I like that. A little hack. Yeah. I've tried to use, like, oil. To tame flyaways, bad idea, especially by your roots. Oh, yeah. um, it does not work <laughs> out. <laughs> Learn that the hard way. How's it looking? So while he's doing that, I'm going to actually what I call marry the lashes. So Ooh. I marry them by. Are you ordained? <laughs> I am. I am in the makeup world. <laughs> so I, one of my pet peeves is when you can see the um, client's lashes with the individuals. So I kind of kind of place them together and marry them together. And what I do is I use uh, mascara on my hand and I use a fan brush oh. and I go in, put my finger right in here and kind of attach them. Oh. It's going to add with the longevity of the actual lash wear as well and make it look like lashes. So when you look from the side, from the side, it looks like her actual lashes. That's a great tip. So the mascara doesn't ruin the lashes. That's what I've heard. No. As long as you're just using a fan brush yeah. instead of the full-on like uh, mascara wand, that, it just distributes too much mascara. With the fan brush, you can 
place it where you need it and actually like really give it that extra oomph. Mm -hmm. See if you can look on this eye, it's a little bit more, like it's more defined. And that eye, we can go in. It also seems like the fan brush is a little gentler than like a mascara wand. Do you feel like you could run the risk yeah. of pulling out the fake ones? So you also notice that Nicole and I have been working in tandem, yes. um, and that's exactly what happens when you order Glam Squad hair and makeup. It's so um, efficient. <laughs> so yeah, you get done quicker. It's not like you're being passed off, you know, to another person. It's really, it saves you time. Time is money. Mm -hmm. so it saves you money. In and out in one hour. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know, it makes you feel like a movie star. <laughs> You got your own glam yeah. And then imagine if we had a nail technician here too. Oh. oh, you would be living the life. I'm also doing this on her bottom lashes. Just to distribute the mascara and give a little more definition. Did you line it all on the bottom? I no? did. I did a little bit of um, mm -hmm. shadow liner. Blended it. Really easy. So it's a still a soft look. Yeah, We're still soft for. look. And then to pop it the way Emma Stone's makeup artist did, she used um, more of a glitter in the inside right here. I'm gonna use like a highlighter that kind of gives the same effect by MAC. It's the mineral um, mineralized skin finish. Oh, I'm gonna use my Artiste brush, which looks oh. very fancy. Yes. And everybody loves it. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put it right into um, the inside of her eye gonna give a little bit of the glitter look plus a highlight. Okay, look at that. Look at that. And then you have that pop. Yay. Look up. Yeah, it can kind of make you look more awake too. I'm gonna blend that out too so it's not so dominant. I've heard that so that this area is like I've heard the darkest part of your face so it can really like it lightens age it you up and, and this it can, will yeah. yeah Emma Stone has huge eyes so she's got help gorgeous eyes so do you I'm just gonna go in and blend to make sure all the eyeshadows can be blended by the pretty Prepping your hair is the number one lesson for hair. I feel like blending might be the number one lesson for yes. makeup. Yes, 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 very much. People are loving your makeup. Man. How do that? Yay! Yay. Yeah. I wish I could say I had a hot date tonight. But I don't. <laughs> if my husband's watching, maybe I'm really Wink, right. wink, nudge, nudge. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something waiting for you to come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he'll cook Netflix. dinner for you tonight. Yeah, he's very uh, good about that. So that's probably gonna happen. And are you using foundation on the blender now, or are you just, I'm just using it? the excess? And what is that? What's the purpose of that? Um, it's because there's still foundation kind of in the sponge. Um, you can just kind of blend it and fill in, and it just kind of evens everything out without adding more. Because I don't want to add any more. So right. that it doesn't build up. It's just kind of stippling it into your face. Perfect. I feel like this is almost a very bridal look too. It like is kind of looks very yeah. flowing. So I think the bridal look is this curl right here. So as you can see, I've left a piece out when I pulled everything back. I left that piece out underneath, which I thought was an interesting choice, and I loved it because it's not seen a lot. But now it's all curled, so I'm just gonna take a flat iron through it and uh I love that it was a little straight and all of a sudden it just, it, it gives it that more glam effect instead of bridal effect. And if it's too straight, then you can go in with a, with a flat iron and give it like a small little bend. So you can really, so it's not so straight. Goldilocks's curl, just right. Just right. <laughs> so I'm adding a little bit more glitter because her look definitely adds that glitter aspect. Needs the glitter aspect to not be bridal look. It just reminded me, I was like, actually, we're going for glam here. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more 
um, glitter, and this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. You can use wet or dry. This is oh. one of my favorites. And your the brush too. feels a little wet, or yeah, I actually wet the brush and then added this color. Love me some sparkle. Just to get the extra. Looking gorge. Is it brow time? I'm going to go in and add a little bit more brow to her. Just what enough. What are you using? I'm using um, Anastasia Brow Wiz Blonde. Mm, it's a classic. I'm going to use blonde and medium brown just for a little bit more of an arch. So what would you use the blonde for since she has brown? I'm using it as a guide, as a as kind of your her foundation. Um, just kind of actually draw actual brow hairs so that it's not so much a brow, but it's an actual, like, it's hairs. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and don't using two colors also kind of give it, it that gives real it, dimension? Yes, it gives it dimension. And this, you can go into the arch area, always brush up, and figure out where you need I start right in here, move up, get that arch, and then come down. Your eyebrows are gonna help give that instant eye lift. Without Excellent. the eye lift. Yes. <laughs> no surgery required. Exactly. I'll help you out. Thanks. Oh, teamwork. Welcome. Teamwork. Good action. I'm gonna build that structure, go up and in here. Brush strokes, and then gonna go in with my medium brown. Get the structure right in here. And you can always, if you put too much on, you can use this as your eraser. Yeah. I feel like people always think the spoolie brush is just a brush, but it is like kind of magical and that it can really take some of that extra product off if you need it. So now hers, she's lifted on that side too. Ooh, I lift. And you're using a very light hand, it feels like at least. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of our eyeshadow highlight, just to accentuate it. Do you guys like working in pairs too? Cause like you can make a complete look. So yes, we work fun together. Part about it. It's so fun. All right. All right. That's it. Now we're gonna go for lips. Oh, we ooh. need her lipstick. Da -da -da. This one I'll do. Lipstick <laughs> and last looks. Yay! I was actually admiring uh, Emma Stone's lipstick last night. I thought it looked very pretty. It was like very it's very natural. pinky, yeah. mauvey, very natural. So I'm going to I um, condition her lips with uh, Jack Black lip balm um, just to give some hydration mm -hmm. natural mint but and it has SPF too because she had a little bit of chapped lips yep. but that's all right and I'm actually gonna take the excess off so that I can put a, a very nice um, line on her lips and take the excess off with the beauty blender like I said your eraser as well does everything <laughs> I'm gonna go in line her lips just her lips are very natural so I'm not gonna get too crazy with it Go along with her lip shape. You do the peak and then you go back around and get that fullness right in here. <laughs> I could never do that with my steady hand. Oh, I know. I'm a mess. I'm like, a, like a bigger canvas. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use Makeup Forever number 18, Rogue Artist Natural. Mm. This is one of one of my other favorite um, yeah. lipsticks. I can use it as is, or I, I love doing a gloss on top of it. Um, it's very sheer, but it still has enough of the pink to give the pout. And I'm using this, the edge of my um, brush as because I don't want to go for keep it sanitary. <laughs> I, I respect that. Yeah, 
So Glam Squad is not only for events, for award shows, we also do weddings. Um, we do just everyday glamour. I mean, if you just want a day to feel a little more empowered, you have a special meeting to go to, um, that's really what we're here for is that empowerment and making women feel yeah. like they could do anything. Love that. So, um, You'd be able to like around the clock, like I'm thinking before work would be pretty early or? Pretty much. <laughs> we take appointments starting at 6 a.m. And then oh, we wow. go all the way to 10 p.m. So right. you can party mm -hmm. late or if you have even a, um, you know, a flight to catch the next morning. I've have a, I've seen a lot of people get glammed at and 9 p.m. the night that before. Too. And I'm like, how do these people yeah. sleep? I would rub off everything <laughs> on one side of my face. My hair would be like... But Maybe just hair. Yeah, yeah. just hair. Get a nice blowout at night. Perfect. <laughs> so how are we looking? We're Is looking this... good. And to um, just kind of seal everything, I'm going to ask Eric to cover her her hair because he did all that lovely work. Oh, and I'm going to set your makeup with this Mario Badesco. Can we see um, it? Rose water. It's just amazing. I'm all, obviously almost out, so I use it <laughs> quite often. It smells nice. It's going to seal everything, give her that extra glow. Actually, and then in parts that have too much moisture, I'm going to go in once again with my beauty blender. There are literally a million things you can do with the beauty blender. Mm -hmm. There you go. So am I Emma Stone? Yes! You are Emma Stone. Oh, oh God. You're going to walk down the street and be like, Emma! <laughs> I'm, Emma over here! Go to the promenade tonight, see who <laughs> recognized me. Oh my gosh, well thank you guys uh, for coming Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Should I come in here? So once again, this was Eric and Nicole with Glam Squad LA. Um, if you would like Glam Squad in your home and you live in New York, Miami, or LA, you can download the app and you download the app, go online, glamsquad.com. You can um, get an appointment that way as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for tuning in, guys. Oh, thanks for having, for having us. us. This was a lot of fun. Thank Yay. you. If you guys have other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Till next time, I'm Mary. See you later. Bye.